Professor Sivashish Ghosh is a faculty member in theoretical physics at the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai, in the Quantum Optics and Quantum Information Research Group. His research interests are foundations of quantum mechanics, quantum information theory, and quantum computation. He obtained his PhD from ISI Kolkata and worked on foundations of quantum theory and quantum information theory. He spent six months in 2001 as a visiting fellow in the Electrical Engineering Department of University of California, Los Angeles. He worked at ISI Kolkata and IMSC Chennai before joining the Computer Science Department of University of York, UK as a research associate for two years. Since 2006, he is with the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai. He is actively involved in organizing the second IMSC Complex System School in cooperation with the Santa Fe Institute, USA, which is an intensive four-week school to introduce research on complex phenomena in physical, biological, and social systems. Today, his talk will be on entanglement, sudden death in bipartite quantum systems under local heat bath dynamics. I would like to thank the organizers for giving me a chance to uh, participate in this workshop. Uh, so this is a work which I have done with my PhD student Sandeep Goyal. Uh, this is not yet completed, so I will give here some partial results. So, uh, uh, so entanglement sudden death is a phenomena which uh, uh, people have discovered, people like Eberly and Wu. So they have discovered in 2004. Well, it's, uh, for people who are working in quantum information theory, this is, I mean, it seems that it is nothing new. But uh, from practical aspect, this is really interesting. So, so we know that quantum systems are quite fragile and uh, so they interact with the environment quite frequently. So the, uh, you know, one of the uh, uh, most important task for preparing quantum computation, building quantum computer is to get rid of or to control the decoherence effect. So before we want to control decoherence effect, we should understand the models of decoherence, how to control it. And therefore, because entanglement is such important phenomena in every aspect of quantum information theory, so it's also good to know what are the states which are more fragile to decoherence, which are less fragile to decoherence, etc. So in this talk, I would like to talk about these decoherence phenomena under a particular model of decoherence, uh, which is local heat bath dynamics for two qubit system and also for two mode Gaussian states. Okay, this is abstract. So, the outline of the talk is, I will talk about first the general evolution of a bipartite quantum system under Markovian heat bath dynamics. I will only, only consider Markovian master equation. And then I will talk about uh, these relation of between Markovian master equation and then Lindbladian. And of course, I will have to talk about the Krauss operators. These are all well known things, but you know, uh, for particularly for students, I would like to mention some of them. And then the important phenomena which is entanglement sudden death, which is a kind of comparison uh, between the loss of coherence of individual system and loss of entanglement. I will talk about that. Then I will talk about the entanglement sudden death for particular class of two qubit states, which are uh, called X states. Then I will go to the general consideration of two qubit states uh, uh, for entanglement sudden death. 
Then I will talk about these entanglement sudden death phenomena for two more Gaussian states and then go to the conclusion. Okay. So, it is here is a brief introduction to this Markovian heat bath dynamics. So, in Markovian dynamics what we do we have a system S which is uh, which has got. So, because we are here we will only consider a qubit or a uh, harmonic oscillator. So, either for so for qubit 2 qubit system the Hamiltonian of the system e, it looks like this. So, the sigma z for the first system and plus sigma z for the second system and for the two mode or say two harmonic oscillator modes. So, you will have this is the free Hamiltonian this is the frequency uh, or the free Hamiltonian for the second mode. So, we have these Hamiltonian for the free. So, free Hamiltonian for the system then the bath Hamiltonian we can take several types of uh, interaction several types of bath generally we take the this harmonic oscillator bath. So, here I will take the bath Hamiltonian is a system of infinitely many harmonic oscillator non interacting harmonic oscillator corresponding to these frequencies omega m. Okay. So, this is the uh, the uh, the sum of the Hamiltonians of the uh, infinitely many harmonic oscillators. Of course, I have neglected the the uh, vacuum energy term. So, either this part for the first bath which will interact with the first system or this Hamiltonian which will interact with the second system. So, here we are considering interaction locally and then I will consider the interaction of a specific form which is dipole type interaction. So, so under so therefore, we will have this total Hamiltonian the free Hamiltonian for the system and the interaction Hamiltonian for system and bath. Okay. Now, for initial state of the bath I will take the thermal state. So, for two baths I will take the same thermal state here for the first bath and the thermal state for the second bath. So, so once we take this as the initial state this rho s 0 is the initial state of the system which can be any density matrix, but the state of the bath is this thermal state. So, under this total Hamiltonian so, because it is a closed system the system and bath. So, we will have the dynamics of the system which is given by this unitary evolution of the initial state of system and bath and therefore, we will have to take trace over the bath degrees of freedom to get the dynamics of the system. Oh, what is this? Well, this should be called as rho s not time derivative this is just the state of the system is time evolved state of the system do not take this derivative is the trace of uh, this uh, time evolved entire system. Okay. And so, if I take the derivative of time derivative of this I will have to take time derivative on this side. So, this will give me the dynamics of the system. Now, because uh, we do not have control over the environment. So, basically we uh, is very difficult to find uh, a you know close form of a time evolution equation for the system density matrix. Nevertheless, under certain assumptions which we use as Born, Markov and uh, rotating wave approximation under this assumption. I can write the dynamics of this system of density matrix in this form. So, this is the unitary evolution form which we are familiar with for a closed quantum system and this is the dissipative part. Okay. So, this is also you can consider it to be a Hamiltonian it need not be the original Hamiltonian of the system and this is called Lamb shift Hamiltonian. So, when we talk about dissipation we generally neglect this part because this corresponds to just energy shift. So, we generally neglect this part. Okay. 
So, this dynamical equation describes the dynamics of the system uh, uh, density matrix and generally this is called as a master equation. Okay. Now, what is the form of the dissipator for this particular dynamics because I have taken particular Hamiltonian for the system, particular Hamiltonian for the bath and particular kind of interaction. So, the dynamics I mean the these uh, dissipation it can be shown that this dissipator will have this particular form which is also known as. So, these operators j plus j minus etcetera they are known as the Lindblad operators. So, so here this j minus 1 is a kind of you know annihilation operator kind of annihilation operators this corres one corresponds to the first system here this two corresponds to the second system where this gamma is called spontaneous decay rate and n is the mean photon number of the bath we generally we take as Planck distribution. Okay. So, I have given the form of these uh, forms for this uh, j plus and j minus. So, you see this basically it is acting on 0 state of the first system it will give you 1 and acting on 1 it will give you 0 similarly for the other. So, this is for qubit and for the harmonic oscillator you will have to replace them by creation and annihilation operators. Okay. So, for Markovian master equation the good thing is although it is not unitary evolution still uh, I can have a completely positive map out of these dynamics. So, if the dynamics is not non not Markovian which is non Markovian then there is no guarantee that it will give rise to a completely positive map, but for this Lindblad form of Markov Markovian equation it is always guaranteed because of the semi group property that this uh, this dynamics will be will give rise to a completely positive map. So, this L is called this Lindbladian or Lindblad operator. So, basically the complete positivity means this time evolved density matrix of the system you can get by the action of a linear operator V t on the uh, initial state of the system and this linear operator is generated by this Lindbladian. Okay. And because this is completely positive map we can have the its Krauss representation. So, the Krauss representations will look like this. So, the time evolved density matrix will have this form these A i t's are Krauss operators. So, they will have to satisfy this condition A i t dagger A i t is equal to identity. Okay. So, therefore, because we are taking the local dynamics and because this is Markovian evolution each of the local dynamics and because this is a completely positive map. So, we will have the Krauss operators these are same Krauss operators for both the systems because the interactions are symmetric. So, therefore, I can write the time evolved density matrix for the entire system that means, the bipartite system in this form. Okay. So, the thing is because this is so this this part you know if I look at it this is a kind of local quantum operation. So, so, so ultimately if I can manage to calculate the entanglement in this and entanglement in rho is 0 it will decay with respect to time because this is so this this is the property of uh, thermodynamics of entanglement. So, under no local operation uh, entanglement in the bipartite density matrix will increase. Okay. So, let us assume that this tau e is the time of complete loss of entanglement. So, if I start from some entangled state let us call this tau of e is the time it takes to go to 0 entangled state that means, a separable state. Okay. On the other hand there is something called. So, because the system is interacting with the environment. So, there will be this recurrence phenomena. So, 
basically there will be loss of coherence due to the interaction of the system with the bath. So, now if I look at the time taken for complete loss of coherence, let us call it tau is k, k for the kth system may be 1 or 2. So, because I have taken a symmetric uh, interaction, so I have this will be same tau of s. So, this tau of s can be thought of as the time taken for the complete loss of coherence. So, the entanglement sudden death phenomena which shows that there are some states initial states of this bipartite system for which this tau of s is exponentially larger than tau of e. So, therefore, these entanglement will die down to 0 much much faster than the uh, uh, loss in coherence. So, this was coined as entanglement sudden death by U and Everly and uh, this has been experimentally verified uh, recently. Okay. So, what U and Everly has done? They have shown these entanglement sudden death phenomena for a 2 qubit system first in this paper, but the because I have taken a heat bath there is associated temperature with it. So, they have taken the 0 temperature heat bath and they have shown these entanglement sudden death for a certain class of 2 qubit states and then these people uh, have shown the entanglement sudden death phenomena for finite temperature heat bath but they have taken into account this kind of 2 qubit density matrices. This is like it looks like x. So, on the principal diagonal and this off diagonal there are entries otherwise they are 0. So, I have taken this rho x 0 as a valid density matrix of course, it will be a valid density matrix depending upon the values of these parameters. So, you see that there are 7 real parameters here because it is a density matrix it will depend upon 7 real parameters. Now, a 2 qubit density matrix uh, generally it depends upon 15 real parameters. Okay. So, if I write it down in, in the Hilbert Smith form, it will have 15 real parameters. Now, but I can bring this 2 qubit density matrix into a canonical form involving 9 real parameters, but here it is 7. So, if you think that well, can I generate all 2 qubit density matrices by acting local unitary operations on this? Answer is no, because uh, still it will have 7 plus 6, 13 parameters, right. So, a general 2 qubit density matrix will have 15 parameters. So, by looking at the entanglement sudden death phenomena for this class of states, it did not cover the entanglement sudden death phenomena for all the 2 qubit density matrices. Okay. The important thing is under the action of these equation, these Markovian master equation which I have uh, just this equation this is works lo locally. So, under the action of this the form of these states will remain invariant this can be shown. No, no, see I apply this dynamics. So, I apply for example, I can apply these Krauss operators, I will give the form of these Krauss operators on. So, I have taken this rho 0 to be x. So, I apply these Krauss operators there, I have a definite form of these Krauss operators I will give you and then ultimately you will get the matrix which is of this form. Okay. So, the idea here I mean what we want is to see whether these family of x states is the entire family of 2 qubit density matrices or it can be extended further. Okay. So, for that reason see what as I said uh, see if I just apply this local. So, why I am restricting to local unitary transformation because I know that entanglement in rho x 0 and entanglement in rho are same. So, therefore, there is no harm in starting with this 
kind of states in, instead of rho x 0. But still as I said this will generate 9 parameter family and uh, not 9 parameters 13 parameter family whereas a general generic 2 qubit density matrix will have 15 parameters ok. So, here is an observation. So, if I take this pure state which is alpha 0 0 plus beta 1 1 it can be shown that the density matrix corresponding to this pure state will have these uh, will be of the form of x state ok. So, therefore, one can also talk about the entanglement sudden death for this kind of states ok. So, as I said the goal is to we would like to see whether the family of x states can be extended so that the ESD would occur for each member of this extended family. In particular can ESD occur for arbitrary 2 qubit entanglement ok. So, for this 2 qubit system because I am considering 2 qubit and 2 Gaussian modes. So, uh, uh, 2 harmonic oscillator modes. So, for the 2 qubit system it can be shown that these V which I talked about earlier. Uh, so, these are the Krauss operators 4 Krauss operators. Uh, so, these are 2 by 2 matrices. So, one can solve the corresponding Markovian equation master equation and find out these Krauss operators and these are the coefficients lambda plus minus y 1 y 2 etcetera. So, they will depend upon time. So, here x will depend upon t ok. So, ideally what we would have expected is I instead of starting from rho a 0 I start from this local unitary transform version I apply this Markovian master equation locally. So, I will get some state. So, ideally I would have expected that the time evolved density matrix will be again locally unitarily connected because that would be I mean make our life more easy, but that is not the case. So, I cannot always find out such u v u prime v prime such that that equation will be valid ok. So, therefore, uh, because in that case as I said the these uh, decoherence time I mean the not decoherence time loss of entanglement the time for uh, loss of entanglement would be same for rho s t and rho I mean this time evolved rho s 0 and d state ok. So, instead of that because I know that this does not hold good always. So, instead of that let us look at whether one can find out local operations this b k and c l such that if I apply it on the time evolved density matrix of rho s 0 ok. So, if I apply this on rho s t I will get back the time evolved version of these matrix this u cross v locally unitarily connected to rho s 0. In that case I could say that the entanglement in this entire density matrix will be at most equal to the entanglement of this time evolved uh, density matrix rho s t. So, let us see whether such uh, operators would exist ok. So, let us call this as uh, sigma s t. See this is like again Krauss representation. So, this will be a density matrix. So, provided of course, this b k t is uh, they will satisfy the these uh, formula for Krauss operators etcetera. So, what we do is so I look for the time evolved density matrix sigma is 0 which is locally unitarily connected to the initial state rho is 0 ok. And therefore, because of this local uh, uh, connection I can say that entanglement in rho s t will be less than or equal to and uh, sigma s t will be less than or equal to entanglement in rho s t ok. So, let us see whether we can find out such operators. So, let us choose these b k s and c l in such a way that b k s will satisfy this equation. So, the u is the original unitary operator and similarly c l will satisfy 
these equations, where these coefficients this d k m comma n and d prime l m comma n they will be basically columns of uh, so they will satisfy this immutability relation. So, in other words you can say that these uh, these d k m n and d prime l m n are the m nth elements entries of this matrix. This is a uh, projection. So, where this j k is basically the kth column of this matrix. So, we look for such b k's and c l's. So, therefore, so we would like to find out these b k's and c k's. Now, let us define a another well this should be tilde um, this is a k tilde eh? somehow it is missed. So, oh this is here. So, this this should be tilde here. Okay. So, this a k tilde is just a linear superposition of a m this original Krauss operators and this j k m's are nothing but the k m th entry of that matrix the unitary matrix I have written down earlier. Okay. And so, once I choose this thing it will follow that b k and a k tilde will satisfy these equation similarly for c l d. So, therefore, if we can now show that this a k tildes are invertible I can find out this b k's and similarly c l's. Now, the Krauss operators what I have given earlier this a 1 a 2 a 3 a 4 it can be shown indeed that these a k tildes are invertible and therefore, I can define these b k's in this way and similarly c l's in this way and therefore, I can now tell that this equation is satisfied. This condition what I have written here this will be satisfied. Now, the point is even if this is satisfied I should also satisfy these the property that they are Krauss operators and they will indeed it can again be shown that they will also satisfy this condition. Okay. So, thus we see that this time evolved initial state which is locally unitarily connected to rho is 0 will also have entanglement certain depth. Okay. So, in other words the I mean so, if I know that this state has entanglement certain depth any locally unitarily connected state will have also entanglement certain depth. Okay. Now, what about arbitrary because we are looking for entanglement certain depth phenomena for 2 qubit state arbitrary 2 qubit state. Okay. So, how will I proceed? So, I have told you that this is a state which is within the family of x states. So, it will show entanglement certain depth. Now, any uh, 2 qubit pure state can be locally unitarily connected to this. So, therefore, any 2 qubit pure state will have entanglement certain depth. Now, if I look for arbitrary 2 qubit mixed state. So, this will be mixture of projectors on either this state or it is locally unitarily connected state. So, therefore, each such state will have entanglement certain depth property. Hence, this any arbitrary 2 qubit mixed state will also have entanglement certain depth property. Of course, you can say that what will have what will happen to tau v. Of course, this tau v will have to choose as the maximum of tau is of such size. Okay. So, therefore, you see that every 2 qubit state will show entanglement certain depth. So, therefore, what we have seen that arbitrary 2 qubit uh, state will show entanglement certain depth. Of course, this uh, time for, for loss of entanglement will be different that is ok. So, now we come to the uh, entanglement certain depth phenomena for Gaussian states. Uh, so, before we go to this uh, phenomena let me just briefly sketch about Gaussian states. So, so, the Hilbert space of this system this is two mode system is this this is a Fox space and this is another Fox space. So, this is the tensor product of two Fox spaces. Now, uh, for treating Gaussian states it is uh, convenient 
to go to the symplectic structure. So, I take this vector of observables x 1 the position for the first uh, uh, mode momentum for the first mode position for the second mode momentum for the uh, second mode and they we know that they will satisfy these commutation relation. So, this matrix which is a 4 by 4 matrix is called as a symplectic matrix. So, so under symplectic transformation these matrix will remain invariant. Okay. Now, Gaussian states are conveniently described in terms of Wigner function. So, a Wigner function corresponding to the xi which I mentioned earlier is basically is integral of this characteristic function and uh, somewhat like this. Okay. So, this characteristic function for uh, this Wigner distribution will look like this. So, rho s is the density matrix of the two mode Gaussian state. Okay. Now, it is uh, known that for Gaussian states you need only the first moment and second moment nothing else is required. So, you need these first moments and the second moment. Okay. So, this is the symmetrized uh, anti commutation relation. Okay. So, if you know these two things this is called the j k th entry of the covariance matrix then you know everything about Gaussian state. Okay. Now, under local symplectic transformations like so, or local canonical transformation you can say a Gaussian state I mean the covariance matrix of a Gaussian state can always be brought into this form, but I have taken here a symmetric Gaussian state if it is asymmetric then these two this n will be different from this n. So, I have only considered symmetric Gaussian states. So, under local symplectic transformations I can always bring the covariance matrix in this canonical form. So, this canonical form is very useful to study the entanglement property of Gaussian states. So, a two mode Gaussian state will be corresponding to this covariance matrix will be entangled if and only if they satisfy these relation. So, n minus k x times n minus k p is less than 1 by 4. So, I will only so basically so therefore, now the thing is earlier when I described this uh, uh, 2 qubit system this master equation I took the master equation for the density matrix. Here it is convenient to talk about uh, in terms of the phase space probability distributions. So, I have taken here the p distribution. So, as you, you, you know we have seen that Wigner distribution is a convenient description for density matrices uh, of a, a, a continuous variable system. So, we can also describe the density matrix in terms of what is called uh, Glover Sudarshan p distribution. So, this is a, a function of alpha alpha star, but this is not well be a function it can become singular. But the important property is if I take so here I have taken single mode if I take two mode system for example, then I will have to modify it by alpha alpha star for first mode and beta beta star for the second mode. And these are the projectors on the coherent states. So, if this quantity this p turns out to be non negative then I call this corresponding density matrix as a classical one. If it is negative for some values of alpha beta etcetera we call it as non classical one. I mean this is also true for single mode. Okay. So, this p will satisfy as I said instead of taking the Markovian master equation in terms of rho I will take the corresponding equation in terms of the p distribution. So, the corresponding master equation for single mode system can be cast in this form. Okay. Now, as I said I am looking for these I am dealing with this canonical form of the covariance matrix and 
therefore, I do not need to look at the first uh, moments because they will be 0 here. So, what I do now? So, if I know what will happen to the covariance matrix by the way I, I should mention here that the the Krauss representation of this ma master equation for single mode will be will correspond to a Gaussian channel. So, acting on a Gaussian state it will produce a Gaussian state. So, therefore, the time evolved covariance matrix which is so this is the so, so if this is the initial covariance matrix I if I solve this equation it can be shown that the time evolved covariance matrix will have this form. So, this is the uh, initial covariance matrix and this n prime is n is this average photon number and gamma is this uh, spontaneous decay rate. Okay. So, therefore, if I can understand the symplectic eigenvalues of this covariance matrix I am through whether it is entangled or not. Okay. So, now the equation the condition what I have written earlier for this for this thing. So, this is for these uh, um, canonical form, but you do not need to get the canonical form always you do not have the canonical form always. So, but nevertheless for this gamma of t which I written just earlier. So, if I calculate this quantity. So, this gamma of t will represent entanglement if and only if this quantity is less than 1 by 4 where z is e to the power minus gamma t. Okay. So, the question is can I have a value of e for certain time for which this is, is equal to 1 by 4. If it is 1 by 4 then of course, it will remain greater than or equal to 1 by 4. It will never go down 1 by 4 because this is a local uh, operation. So, therefore, I would like to find out that value of t which will satisfy the equation here instead of inequality and you can just solve this thing and find out that such t exists and which is finite. So, therefore, for these two mode Gaussian state of course, I have taken this tau gamma of 0 is not arbitrary covariance matrix this is the canonical form covariance matrix. So, if I take this form of canonical form of covariance matrix it can be shown that this E will become equal to 1 by 4 uh, in finite time and therefore, for a Gaussian state with this covariance matrix will always show entanglement certain depth. Okay. So, that is it. Now, the thing which I oh, I think I have finished quite early. Okay, good. That's fine. So, what we could not show is as we have done for the 2 qubit system is whether if I do not take in this canonical form, if I do not take in this canonical form of the covariance matrix, if I take some other form more general form will that show entanglement sudden death? Answer might be yes, but we are yet to prove it. We are trying to prove it. The important thing is we would like to do the similar analysis for non Markovian case for non Markovian dynamics also people have shown entanglement sudden death, but of course, the master equation you will have to choose carefully. So, that it will uh, give rise to a completely positive map in that case also people have shown uh, non mark I mean the entanglement sudden death phenomena for certain class of states. So, we would like to extend this analysis the uh, it might be interesting that so, through this uh, structure of local unitary connection we are basically looking at the symmetry property of the uh, master equation. Thank you. For questions?